welcome to my workshop. My name is Vijay Velji and I'm a hobbyist woodworker. I'm also the owner of a small web-based business called Shellac Finishes. I carry DVAC Shellac and I'll be using it through the course of this video. Today I will demystify French polishing. I will take you through a step-by-step -step process and show you how easy it is to obtain a fantastic and durable finish. And if I can do it, so can you. For this video, I will demonstrate French polishing on this beautiful Baltimore card table that belongs to my friend Bill. As you can see, the table is dry assembled. This will make it easy for me to finish the individual parts before final assembly. Now let's talk about the technique of French polishing. To make it simple, I have divided the process into four segments. The preparation of the surface is just as important as the finishing process. There are no shortcuts here. Now that the surface is well prepared, we move to the next step, pour filling. Since our tabletop is mahogany, which is an open poured wood, we need to fill the pores to get a flat surface to lay the shellac down. Let's move on to the next segment, bodying. At this time, coat after coat of shellac is laid down to give us the desired color and thickness. There are no set rules to thickness. What is most important is that the shellac is laid down in very thin and even coats. As you can see, the surface has an even layer of shellac, although it still does not have the mirror finish. This final process will help us achieve that goal. This requires elbow grease and plenty of patience. Burnishing is required to stretch the shellac evenly over the surface to get the final mirror finish.